Hey guys, it's Mega, and we're back again with another Switch review. And I'm just so excited for this one, and I know so many people hyped over these Switches. I think they were one of the most hyped Switches this year. It's none other than the Akko Cream Yellow V3s in the Pro version. How does it compare with the original Cream Yellow V3s? Let's find out. But before anything, a little disclaimer. Akko did not pay me to say or make this video, so whatever I say here are my opinions. I still appreciate the opportunity from Akko, but my opinions will still be unbiased towards the product. But a big thanks to Akko for sponsoring this video, so let's get this show on the road, shall we? So these are Akko Cream Yellow V3 Pros, the predecessor to the V3s which were so hyped while they were available and were constantly running out of stock. People were even buying them to lube them and sell them as lube switches. Can't blame them though, those switches were so good even just on my Revion 41 which I had a video that I will link in the description or maybe somewhere up here. But yeah, the cream yellow V3s were such a great switch because of its distinct clacky sound that just makes music when typing. Don't believe me? Here's a typing test of my Tiger 80 Lite with a cat monochrome. But hey, we're here for the brand new Akko Cream Yellow V3 Pros. So what changed? What makes these switches pro? Well for starters, they are 5 pin now. So that means better stability and holding on to the PCB when compatible of course. Another thing is the dust proof stem. Which has left the community divided but I think they're fine. Especially it being particularly smoother and more stable compared to the usual stems without the dust proofing. But your mileage may vary. They also lubed the rails already on the bottom housing and the stem. Which wasn't really specified if it was Crytox 205 grade 0 or not. But I'm guessing it is based on the other switches that they sent. But here's the surprising part. They didn't sell them or market them as lubed switches, so their prices are still the same as what they were before. Maybe a little higher, but still very close. So let's break down the parts. The Pro Stem compared to the non-Pro Stem is ever so slightly longer. Nothing that could be heavily noticeable, but I thought it was worth mentioning. The stem is still made out of palm, and the rails are lubed from the factory, compared to the original that was dry. I guess that saves my time lubing the switches. The spring is also slightly longer than the original spring, coming in at 20 millimeters, millimeters compared to the 18 millimeters of the non-pro version. And is already lubed with Crytox 105 grade 0, I'm guessing. The housing materials are also the same, where the top is PC and the bottom is nylon PA. The difference now is that it has a cherry style housing compared to the kale style housing of the original. It's such a welcome addition, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the kale housing because of how hard they are to open sometimes. Not to mention the cherry style housing makes 5 pin possible. So yeah, definitely a plus. So final thoughts on these switches. Get them now. Don't even think about it. If you can afford to get them, get them now. Even out of the box, they're still good. 
and the price is a lot less than lube switches from Akko. So really they are a steal. Literally they are a steal. <laughs> <laughs> and getting them hand lube gets them to that next level. In any case, they are great value for the money. And I'm pretty sure these will fly off the shelves once they are on stock. And at this price point, I won't be surprised if Akko increases their pricing on them. Or gives you a completely dry switch instead. So here's the typing test of the Akko Cream Yellow V3 Pros lubed on the Tiger 80 Lite. So don't waste time, links are in the description. Get on these now, see you in the next one. I'll have the Akko Cream Blue V3 Pros review coming up soon as well. See you and have a good day.